Smith winning the tap with a big fist. Straight inside forward 50. Whoa! Sam Day! He says to Ainsworth, hey, your mark was good, but I'll show you one fucking better. And he's on the board. What's going on, Godzilla Nation? This is our Godzilla. We are back with more AFL Evolution 2. And this week, we're in the rain. Metricon Stadium, Gold Coast taking on Melbourne. Hopefully the momentum we picked up from our win against Fremantle last week helps roll over into this round. If you have missed any rounds along the way, there is a link in the description down below to go check the playlist out. I know a lot of you have been following this week by week. I can't thank you guys enough for all that support. Seriously, thank you all. I hope you guys are enjoying this rebuild as much as I am. Who would have thought heading into this game, Gold Coast would be 3-1, sitting near the top of the ladder. Here come Melbourne. Clayton Oliver looking pretty good there. All fired up and hungry for more, faster and stronger than ever before. Talking themselves up a little bit there, I think, Melbourne. Christian Petrarca with the ball there, having a bit of a kick-to-kick -kick with Tommy McDonald. Jakey Melksham looking good there with the rain coming down. But here come your Gold Coast Suns, ladies and gentlemen. What are we running with this week on the banner? Come on, sons, give it your all. Here today, we fight, fight, fight. Can't even get a fucking rhyme on the on the board. Are, are you serious? <laughs> Captain shaking hands. Coin toss underway. Viney with the call. Gold Coast kicking to the left of screen. Which doesn't mean anything to you. Doesn't really mean anything to myself. It doesn't it doesn't mean anything at all. We, we're gonna we're gonna kick goals no matter which way we're kicking. Time to get this bitch underway. We've had very wet games to start the season. A bit moist, some would say. Good tap down there by Smith. Ball moved forward. It's gonna get chipped off early by Oscar McDonald. Getting good with the clearing kicks, but hitting targets, never. Another big clearing kick. Can we get the run over the back? Come on, Peter. You got to get there. Oh, bounces the tackle off. Are you kidding me? Ball spills. Melbourne have it. Loose man, Max Gorn. Who's found another loose man in Clayton Oliver. Who has then gone and kicked the most mongrel kick I have ever seen. Wow. Gold Coast pump it up to the top of the 50. Plenty of numbers around. The ball spills. Good tackle there by the Gold Coast. Plenty of Melbourne numbers, though. They're going to move the ball forward. Off hands again. At least they're making a contest the Suns early. Good tackle there. Should have been holding the ball, in my opinion. But it's going to be a ball up. Smith wins the tap down. Very impressive to start the season. High tackle against Brandon Ellis. Melbourne with the ball. Top of the 50. Cut off by the Gold Coast, but Melbourne, however, finding enough to move the ball inside 50. Shot on goal! Just wayward, Jake Melsham. Opens up the scoring for the game. Gold Coast looking to bring it back in with a bit of a torpedo. Goes long. And taken by Jack Viney. Good smother in there by the Gold Coast. Clearing ball up forward. Can we capitalise? Ball spills. Melbourne have it. Move it forward. Oh, that's a free kick. Thank you very much, Charlie Spa. Whoa, what? Okay. All right. I don't know what the fuck happened there, but that was definitely... Whoa! Max Gorn, get the fuck out of here. I've got no idea what the fuck's going on here. Broden Fiorini just kicked a torpedo and gets pinned for throwing the ball. I, I don't understand. Melbourne with another shot on goal, however. It's pushed a little bit wayward. Good fist in there. Homsch has been impressive in defence all season. Long kick out. Ball spills. Gold Coast have it. Move it forward. Oh, that's good body work. Ball spills. Chipping ball up forward. We've got a loose man out. Come on, you got to take it. you got to take it. you got to run all the way home, son. 
Yes! Jacob Heron. The wild card. That's what we're calling him, ladies and gentlemen. Because he wouldn't have gotten the opportunity if it wasn't for Alex Sexton going down with injury. And he has relished the opportunity. I think that's now goal number four or five in the last three games. Impressive young man. Gorn wins the tap down for Melbourne. They work the ball out quite comfortably here. Inside 50, one-on-one -on -one contest. Homsch wins it. The ball spills. Shot on goal by Melbourne, and it is a goal. Mitch Brown. Game on, Mitch Brown says. Okay. Back to a two-point ball game. Melbourne's way. Zach Smith wins it down. Good clearing kick there by the Gold Coast. Gets a fist in. The ball moves forward. They're going to get the ball back here again. No, Melbourne have it. That's holding the ball. No, it's not. I was hopeful it would be, but it's not. Smith beating Gorn in the contest again. Gold Coast move the ball inside 50. Can we get a mark? No, we cannot. Oscar McDonald could take a mark, though. Moves the ball to nobody in particular. Come on, Gold Coast. We've got to get it back in. But they're not going to. Melbourne have moved the ball laterally. They have found James Harms. He's going to hold the ball up a bit, and he's going to move it forward of the ground. Good mark taken there by Ben Ainsworth. Inside 50, Ben King. Can he counter for this wind? I think he has. Oh, he has not. He's hit the post. Ben King. Might have to try and get his brother down to the club. What do you reckon? Get the Twin Towers going. You know what I'm saying? And that's quarter time, ladies and gentlemen. Melbourne lead the Gold Coast by a single point. Second quarter underway. Smith wins the ruck contest again. Good tackle there, but it's a push in the back, actually. Wasn't a good tackle at all. Melbourne have the ball out wide. Another push in the back, Melbourne. Gold Coast have been a little bit sloppy when it comes to giving away too many free kicks the last couple of weeks. Something we need to tune up on. Gold Coast move it back into the middle of the ground. Ball spills. Tries to get the ball forward, but a smother in there. Holding the ball, surely. Oh, you are kidding. Two meter Peter gets it down. Clearing ball, moving forward. Plenty of numbers around. Get him. Just tackle him. Good. He's been pinned for throwing the ball. Thank God for that. Hugh Greenwood to stem the flow and put the Gold Coast back in front. Was there any ever any doubt? Come on, let's be serious. Hugh Greenwood gets a goal. Max Gorn getting dominated in the ruck contest by Zach Smith. Who would have thought? Melbourne inside 50. Off hands by the Gold Coast. Are they going to get a goal here? No, they might when you give away a fucking high tackle free kick. That's a goal. Christian Petrarca. They're not lying down, Melbourne. Zach Smith wins it down to himself. Moves the ball forward. A little bit of Nick Nat Nui about that. The ball spills out of the contest. Gold Coast trying to get the clearing kick, but it doesn't work. Handball forward. He has found somebody loose. He's going to get pinned for holding the ball. Oh, can we make Melbourne pay here? Loose ball out the back. Collected by Melbourne. I think he's found someone he has. Michael Hibbard moves it forward by hand. Done for throwing the ball. Braden Fiorini doesn't get many chances on goal. Can he make this count? It's going to drop short. Off the deck. Come on. Touch behind by Corey Ellis. Tried to get the handball over the top, but unfortunately couldn't find a target. Oscar McDonald has it in the back pocket for Melbourne. Moves it up to the back 50. Off hands. Manages to dodge a tackle, Melbourne. Moved it to a contest out on center wing. The ball spills again. Melbourne collect it. They move it to the top of the 50. That's going to be a push in the back. 
free kick to Melbourne. We move it back to the top of the square. Jack Viney now has the ball. Inside 50, found a loose man. It is Mitch Brown who plays on. And he has kicked a goal. He's now got two, Mitch Brown. And it's now back to a one-goal ball game. Zach Smith wins it down. Clearing kick out of the middle. Two on one. Gold Coast managed to bring it to ground. Good win there. Holding the ball. No. Held up. Two meter Peter wins it down. Free... I was just about to say Freeman. Oh, God damn. Melbourne moved the ball forward. Jaden Hunt has it. Inside 50. Loose man. Two loose men contesting the ball on their own. Mitch Brown now going for goal number three in the quarter. The two in the quarter. Three for the game. And he has pushed that severely to the left. Mitch Brown, bit of an underrated player. I don't know. How, how do you feel about him? Peter Wright wins the contest. Melbourne going to have a shot on goal. And it is a goal. Clayton Oliver just strolls in. You bug-eyed bastard. Let's have a look at it again. Too much space. Look how easy that is. Just strolls in. Not good enough. Smith wins the contest down again. Gets the ball back. Moves it just shy of half forward. Ball spills down. Good tackle. Gold Coast move the ball inside the forward 50. Loose man at the back. Shot on. Oh. That would have been a nice goal if that had gone through by Ben Ainsworth. But he strikes the post. Oh, we've got to make him pay here, Gold Coast. Come on. Come on. Deliberate. Pay it deliberate. Nah, he's going to get there. Good tackle there. Not much time before half time. Can the Gold Coast get a score on the board before then? Or will time beat them? It's looking like time's going to beat them. Out on the full. It's going to be the last crack for the half. Because that's half time. Melbourne lead by two goals. Gold Coast really need to lift in this second half. Balls move forward. Gold Coast have it. David Swallow. Long inside 50. Oh, is that going to bounce all the way? Just off the deck. Just off the deck. Holding the ball. Somebody, please. Just do something, please. Ball one down. Good tackle in there again. But Melbourne are going to clear the ball. That should be a mark to the Gold Coast. But it's not a mark to the Gold Coast. Because that would be too easy, right? Nice clearing ball forward. Plenty of Gold Coast numbers around, and they still can't manage to pull a mark. Zach Smith with the tap down. It's going to be a high tackle. Melbourne's ball. Can't take a trick. And a 50. All comes down to discipline, and Gold Coast the last few weeks have been lacking that severely. And Melbourne have kicked another. Oscar McDonald now on the scoreboard. You know you're not having a good time when a backman comes up and scores. Zach Smith to himself again. Ball spills down in the contest. Moves the ball inside 50. Melbourne's going to beat them to the punch here, I think. And he does. Ed Langdon. Goes across goal. Plenty of numbers. We've got to put in some effort. Oh, go, 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 go. That's what I'm talking about. Sam Day. Brings the deficit back a little bit. Breathes a little bit of life. Come on. Back to 12 points. Smith wins the contest. Melbourne have the ball, however. They move it forward. Loose man. Good, good effort in there. Apparently no prior opportunity and it's going to be a ball up. Peter Wright wins it down. Good tackle there. Come on, we've just got to clear it. Inside 50, the ball's going to bounce. We need to make them pay. 
Oh, that's good work there. Just over the top. Just sneaky little goal. Bang, bang. Ben Ainsworth. The boys are back in town, baby. Back to six points. Melbourne with the tap. They go back inside 50. He's going to mark that, isn't he? Of course he is. Harley Bennell. Can't remember the last time I've seen Harley Bennell take a mark. And he has pushed it wide. That could be a handy point, though. That now puts them seven points up. Homps brings it in long. Off hands. Good tackle. Chipping ball forward. Melbourne move it to the top of the circle. Off hands. Come on, we've got to get it. That's going to be a free kick again. Fuck me. Good work there by the Gold Coast. Whoa! Maxi Gore! What the fuck is up with these Ruckman doing all these speckies? Inside forward 50 for Melbourne. Nice clearing kick. Even if it buys us just a little bit of time. Peter Wright takes a mark. Let's move it on long. Kicks it straight to Ed Langdon. Right on the chest. Melbourne have it. They're going handball for handball. They have a shot on goal and they strike. Christian Petrarca again. I'm starting to get worried. Melbourne win the tap down. Big clearing kick out of the middle. Gold Coast bounce it back to the to, to the top of their 50. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Ben Ainsworth. Don't mind if he does. Little man steps up like a little stepladder. We're going to go to the Tory. Can we get a big finish after that big mark? Can we get a big finish? Oh, he's just pulled that to the right. Unfortunately. He gave that a ride though. Holy shit. Got me so excited I muddled my words up and sounded like a fucking idiot. Clayton Oliver has it. Oh, he's kicked that out on the full. 48 seconds left on the clock. Not real time, but still 48 seconds. Top of the square. Can we get a mark? Of course we can get a mark. Jake Lever, all over it. That's three-quarter time, ladies and gentlemen. Melbourne leading the Gold Coast by 12 points. We need to dig deep. Final term underway. The boys need to dig deep hard. Melbourne win the ball. That's going to be holding the ball, though. Lockie Weller with a driving ball at the top of the 50 for the Gold Coast. Taken by Jordan Murdoch. Chipping ball inside 50. Should have probably gone for goal. At any rate, turns around, kicks it. Can we get a mark in there, please? I'd like to see whether that was marked over the line, but at any rate, Sam Day has it. We're going to try the boo -na, na We haven't had an attempt with the boo -na, na yet this season. Shanks the shit out of it. However, we take a mark anyway. Hugh Greenwood. And he goes, nah, nah, nah. I'll kick this. Don't you worry about that. Hugh Greenwood kicks another. Come at the moment. Come at the man. He's been big for the Gold Coast this season. Big tap down there by Smith. Pushing the back, unfortunately. Melbourne have it. They move the ball forward. Off hands. Clearing ball. Half forward. Oh, you idiot. He goes to the top of the 50. The ball spilled. It is inside 50. Nobody is home. The leg race is on. And Zach Smith, of all players, is leading that race. Melbourne, however, managed to get there just in time and get the ball out. Angus Brayshaw has it half back for Melbourne. That's out on the full. That is out on the full. Don't go out in the full. Deliberate had a bet. You're fucking kidding me. There is no way. Anyway. Ball's brought back in. Oh, -ho! Braden Fiorini. He plays on. Goal. Ben Ainsworth. We're back to a tied ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Game on. That was a good finish.
Smith winning the tap with a big fist. Straight inside forward 50. Whoa! Sam Day! Woohoo! He says to Ainsworth, hey, your mark was good, but I'll show you one fucking better. And he's on the board. What a finish. What a way to capitalize on a big mark. Smith wins it down with a thumping fist again. Off the deck from him. Melbourne are going to work it out by hand. Inside 50. One-on-one -on -one contest. Diving mark taken by Harley Bunnell. Had a shot on goal early and pushed it to the side. Can he make up for it and bring the Demons back to a tied ball game? Yes, he can. And he's getting stuck into the defender too, Harley Bunnell. 7-4 plays 7-4. Smith wins the tap down again. Good tackle there by the Gold Coast. We're going to have the ball up. Very reminiscent of that game that Melbourne and Gold Coast played where it come down to that kick that hit the post from Tom McDonald to win the game. That's what I'm getting signs of right now. Melbourne moved the ball inside 50. Good fist in there by the Gold Coast. Oh, smothered ball. We've got to get it out of there. Come on. Get it out. Clear it out. Thank you. Spilled ball again. Melbourne have it. They chip it inside. They found a loose man. It is Jaden Hunt. And at any rate, his score will put Melbourne in front. But by how much? He did everything to not score then. But it's a behind. Not much time left on the clock. Can Gold Coast go coast to coast? We need to do it. Lukosius has it half back. We need to go long. Just spill the ball. Just go inside 50. All right, you need to sneak out. You need to kick that. Peter Wright's got it. Okay, settle it down. Settle it down. Two meter Peter. Bang! Two meter Peter puts it through. He hasn't kicked many this year, Peter. He's been playing a bit of bigger role further up the ground. But he's kicked it when it counts. Five points the way of the Gold Coast. Inside 50. It spills. Melbourne still have a chance here. We need to avoid them getting the ball up there into the ground. We need to get another score. If Gold Coast can get a mark inside 50 now, just hold it up. Time could beat them here. Clearing ball. We're going to get that mark. Oh, we are going to get that mark. That's game over. Thank God for that. Zach Smith for the final kick of the game. Can he get a score on the board? Well, what a finish. Another win. The Gold Coast start the season 4-1. and one. That was a huge comeback. Thank fuck for that. I'd be a bit deflated too, boys. They put up more of a fight than what I expected. Seriously, that was that was a good contest. If Jaden Hunt had kicked that goal at the end then, instead of kicking that behind, they probably would have won the game. Or it would have finished as a draw, maybe. Who knows? 11 free kicks to four. We need to clean up on that big time. Hugh Greenwood has to be best on ground, surely. Ten possessions, two goals. He was. Benny Ainsworth getting in the votes as well. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got to go talk to the boys downstairs. There's a lot to address. Good and bad. It's not always just positive things to talk about. Once I'm done, though, I'll see you guys at the post-match press conference. So, um, it looked like you were against the ropes for a large portion of that final. Must be a relief that you uh, managed to come back when it counted most. Yeah, look, unfortunately, it's not a situation that um, we haven't been in before. The last few weeks, we've found ourselves in many instances where we've been against the ropes. Against Sydney, a few weeks ago, they managed to get the best of us, but they had us against the ropes for a very long time. Fremantle last week had us against the ropes in the opening term, and Melbourne had the ball on their terms for a lot of the probably second half, not just the last, the last quarter in itself, so... Very good to see the boys digging deep. Huge relief. 
that we managed to hold them off, especially with the start that we've had to the year. Hugh Greenwood been very impressive since he no know at Adelaide and he come over to the Gold Coast. How do you think he has been going so far? Oh no. Hugh has been nothing but impressive since coming in. When Miller went down at the start of the year, I pulled him aside and told him he's been brought to this club for a reason. We need him to stand tall. And that brass ring that everyone keeps talking about, he's well and truly grabbed that and ran with it. I've got to take my hat off. A lot of people have been rubbishing the Gold Coast Suns since their inception, really. But the boys that they've brought in on the off-season coming into this year, they have added a lot to this lineup. Your small forwards have been really digging in deep as of late. Is this the kind of game style we will see moving forward? A faster pace game to allow them to do more damage? We just like mixing things up. I think a new game plan is something that the Gold Coast needed. It's been a bit stale. They haven't really had much of a game plan if you look back over previous years. So getting our smaller players involved, basing our game off a little bit of run, whatever it may be, I'm not going to leak my gameplay to you guys. Come on, let's let's be serious. Other coaches are watching this shit. But if we mix things up a bit, get the game on our terms, that's all I'm worried about. And it seems to be working. To start the year 4-1, and one, you must be incredibly impressed. 4-1. and one. To start the year off. I mean, anyone would think this is a video game, right? It's the only way it could really fucking happen. Let's, let's get serious. But very impressed with the start so far. Well, I don't want to jinx it. Because if I say too much, I feel this is where the, the wagon's wheels are going to fall off. But the Gold Coast 4-1, and one, my first year as coach... Who'd have thought? That's it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, hit that like button down below. It goes a long way to supporting myself, and I cannot thank you guys enough for all that support. If you happen to be new to the channel, plenty of other content to check out. Urge you to do so. If you happen to enjoy what I'm throwing down, hit that subscribe button down below as well. Pledge your allegiance to the God Zero Nation by doing so. Also... When it comes to these post-match press conferences, if you have any questions you would like the press to ask myself, let me know in the comment section down below. I always enjoy listening to the things you have to say about myself in this game, because some of you, especially hitting me up on social media, have been coming up with some pretty uh, creative things. Thank you all so much for supporting this series. Seriously, cannot thank you guys enough for all of that. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here, and as always, I will catch you guys next time.